morning, guys. Welcome back to The Breakfast Club. This is season four, episode 13. Apologies that we missed last week. For once, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> you said we're not doing it. Because you had to go. Nah, whatever. You had some important life things to do. So, yeah, life. You know, but hey, it paid off. Mm, Maybe. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I'm still homeless. Potentially, trying to fix potentially that. Potentially not very soon, though. Maybe. We don't know yet. Okay. We gotta like finish all the, the their signing things and yes. talking to people. Yes, and, and then, then time like, frames that have to go by. Then like this whole organization, I think they're called a bank, has to give me a ton of money. So yeah, who knows? All right, well, well good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so quick rundown of what we got in this last week. Uh, Bighorn Armory, M90 Hunter and M90A. And M89. Oh, I missed one. Sorry. Yes. So Bighorn Armory is a bunch of lever action firearms in some cool calibers such as 460 Smith & Wesson, 500 Smith & Wesson, and 454 Casul. Yeah. They are super nice. I would say they're a little bit more expensive than what you would traditionally spend on a lever action rifle, but they are in very specific calibers. They're very well made. They generally have upgraded wood. Fancy sights, like Skinner sights, already mm -hmm. installed onto them. It's all hand done, very nice guns. Yeah, I know we did talk about them once, but it was a yeah. while ago. They don't make a lot of them, yeah. so whenever we get them, it's only a handful each time. So Few and far between. These will be gone pretty quick. Yeah. All right, so check those out. Um, another kind of handful of Browning X bolts in a variety of different calibers, AB3s in a variety of different calibers. Um, we did get a substantial selection of Chiapas yes. in stock, so we got some Rhinos, we got some Little Badgers, some Spencer Carbines, Nice. 1886 uh, Wildlands Takedown, oh. and 1892 Wildlands Classic, so I'm assuming the Wildlands is a stock pattern. Uh, not so much a, yeah, it's a specific uh, finish and yes. stock style. Finish, that's the word So I the Wildlands is generally, I believe... If we're thinking of the correct one, it would be a gray laminate with a like Cerakote finish. Yes, so I did supposed see to be some as, gray, dark gray. Yeah, supposed to be as durable as possible for the wild. We also got Beretta 1301 Tactical Shotguns. Yes, very cool guns. If you haven't checked them out, definitely, uh, well, check them out. Yeah, 1301 Tactical is, is that a, a shorter barrel. Yeah, shorter barrel overall configuration is a little bit cooler. It's more um, geared towards, well, for Canada anyway. Compaction? Nope, semi auto. No, semi -auto. Okay. So if you're doing any kind of three gun or tactical shotgun, like uh, even um, Ipsic or anything like that, yep. really cool gun, super lightweight, ultra reliable. Cool. Check, Check it out. out. Um, also, the BCL MRX Bison. I was going to make a bison noise and I can't think. <laughs> For the life of me, what they make. I really appreciate that you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the um, 300 Blackout. And for, I believe we mentioned this last time, the 20 round mags that were available Bam. for the 223 yes. are now in stock. Yep. So, BCL MRX 20 round dedicated magazines for the Bisons. Absolutely low compact magazine, 20 rounds in it. It's awesome. It feels so justified having a magazine where you can just go and put 20 rounds into it. So even though it's for a bolt action, it's still really cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, in case anyone's wondering like, mm -hmm. how'd you do that? <laughs> that don't yeah. seem right. Yeah. It's a, it's a bolt proprietary action. magazine for a bolt action firearm. So that That's is why. why. Um, we got smoke grenades and fireworks. Yes. Um, spring and summer. Well, actually, I was gonna you know say what? tis the season. <laughs> spring, we didn't get spring. We went from snow on the ground to plus 27 yesterday. It was not 27. My truck said 27 well, degrees. Was it sitting in direct sunlight? I was going down the highway. No. Yes, it was hot. <laughs> it was not that warm where I was. I realized how fat I am because I was sweating <laughs> so aggressively. Because we went from like minus 20 to like plus degrees. That 40 degree shock to my the system is killing me. The body takes a while me. to adjust to the warmer temperatures for sure. Because even I, like, it's only, what, plus nine today, this morning when we were outside probably? Yeah, something like that. And I was warm and that's yeah. unusual. So, Manitobans yeah. Manitobans just get the it's worst of nice. everything. It's <laughs> nice. It's definitely nice to have that sunshine out and the warmer temperatures. Everyone's just immediately in like 10 times better of a mood. <laughs> Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> I went for look a, the outdoors. <laughs> I went for a walk a couple days ago, and like literally all the yards that you could see into off the path, everyone's just on their deck, yeah, eyes closed, <laughs> staring up at the sun. <laughs> all right, um, yes, fireworks available. Tis the season. I did hear a rumor that like fireworks are kind of hard to come by this year. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Oh, not for us. You want fireworks? I got them. fireworks. I got so many fireworks. Okay, perfect. We can work that fire. 
<laughs> <laughs> we do have one of my favorite things in the world, though. This is like the most rinkety, rinkety dinkety one, okay. and it's the not bottle rockets. Okay. Because you can't buy bottle rockets in Canada. Oh, so these so are called not, not bottle, bottle rockets. rockets. Okay. It's literally just not bottle rockets. Okay. It's the greatest, greatest firework ever. It's a bottle rocket. <laughs> <laughs> it goes boop and it blows up and it's so great. Marketing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right on the package. Don't worry. Not, not bottle, bottle rocket. <laughs> right there. Um, okay. We also got a selection of Hilux optics in stock yes. for your old Western guns. So a lot of the Malcolms. Yeah. So Malcolm series of optics yes. were like the original, the OG yeah. uh, optics. And we also have the USMC models yes. for a bunch of different ones. So Hilux generally produces <laughs> vintage optics, which are very good. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been dealing with Hilux for ever. Ever. The, uh, yeah. Forever. They're Art. a great company. They make reproduction optics they also do make traditional optics which this time uh this shipment here we actually did get in some of their okay um some of their i would call it traditional optics just like you're you know, three to nine by 40s okay. and i will be testing one of those here hopefully next week and i want to see how it does because it is a 110 dollar retail optic and from everything that i have been doing with it right so far it's fantastic. The glass is really good. Good. And I'm going to put it on a Benelli M4 and see if I can blow it up. Okay. Not the gun, the optic. <laughs> and if it doesn't, you can't get a better optic for $110. Exactly. There you go. Um, we got a handful of Rhineland Arms kits in. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure how many or if those are still going to be here or not. But uh, We'll find that out yesterday because <laughs> okay. this is saturday yes uh and we'll be going through those so the rhineland kits are uh you know if you ever want a bubba an enfield or a mauser you spin the barrel off spin this rhineland kit on not really a bubba but it's actually really cool people have varied opinions on yeah. the matter <laughs> you can turn your enfield into a 45 acp carbine it's awesome yeah. takes yeah. in 1911 mags right up the mag well <laughs> comes with an adapter just like that just like that. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Um, handful of Savage Rascal Youth 22s. Those are always fun. It is summer. If, you know, you got a range close by, get out there, take your kidlets out. Or, or if out you don't live field. in the city. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, like any rural people, just yeah. do you do. You do you. Set but your tar targets up in the backyard. <laughs> exactly. That's what I do. Um, you had mentioned Badger before. We did get in those little Badgers, which like oh, the, the Rascals. Little badgers, yeah. We got in a bunch of the different little Badgers. So like the green one, yeah. it's one of the stock and this, that and everything. Those are awesome. You yeah. can do a little bit with them. Definitely check those out because it is it is a survival rifle, but it's just a hinged action. So you just break it apart. Got a yeah. hammer. Really cool. Check it out. Definitely. Um, along the line of 22s, we also got Winchester Wildcats in stock, which are a newer item in the last... I think we got like one. Oh, my bad. It may or may not be here. <laughs> We're really bad for that. That's my bad because she's like, wow, we got Wildcats. I'm like, yeah, put that on the list. We got one. So we may have a Wildcat here. We may have a Wildcat here. Um, yeah. And my that's... guess is not. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. Yeah. If it's not there, it's because it's sold. Did we uh, release that review of ours? Yesterday? The QD? Yeah. Yes. So we did do a QD. Um, there have been some questions come up recently regarding we sometimes have refurb CZ Shadow 2s on the website. Um, so we had a few of them in stock here recently, and there were some questions around, like, what is a refurb? You know, what are the differences between it and a new gun? Yeah. Yada, yada, yada. So we thought we would feature one of those out on the range. They are generally in mint, mint condition yeah um i think as you explained like we do warranty for cz here at wolverine so quite often firearms come in and have to be warrantied out and we basically put any new parts into the guns that need to be and if you're going to have a gun worked on this is the place to do it we're the warning center we have a cz authorized gunsmith slash armor slash whatever you want to call it for those handguns yeah. and yeah basically everything's gone over he's been through them a billion times before he can do it again so all those refurbs are fantastic i myself have one that's what we were yeah, shooting in the that's video what we were shooting in the qd it's awesome it is nice you forget how nice yeah they are when you don't shoot one for a while yeah yeah and i think you had it kitted out with you know we had uh, always tlr1 hl yes best light the light, on the, mark. the, fav the favorite ah. light um Trich also we SRO. had some grips on there lock grips, lock grips. Yeah. uh what else you put on different trigger the refurbs are good on their own i said that in the yeah. video as well but i've done a bunch of yeah, things to it because you know game it man you yeah. gotta game it out of the box great gun but of course he had done all the things always. he likes to do to uh his firearms <laughs> so <laughs> In case you're yeah. wondering, we'll have all that information included in the QD review. 
Um, so yeah, check that out. Um, other than that, what do you got behind you? Boom, there's an SKS, someone should buy it. There you go. It's Look used. At that. It's used, call in the shop. That is a SKS in the Tapco stock. It has Choate accessories on it. It also has an M Carbo trigger Ooh. spring in it. It's got a Magpul stock. It's got a Choate flash hider. It's in very good condition. There you go. You're welcome, consignee. <laughs> Link below. <laughs> okay, um, that's everything for today. We did want to do a quick mention of Wolverine Days as that is approaching very quickly. I think we are 51 days out. 51 days to the, the happiest day of the year. Nothing. Uh, not very much time at all considering the long list of things we have yet to complete, but that's how Wolverine Days goes. We'll muddle it. We'll muddle through it. We don't muddle. We just we don't really muddle, no. We just, uh, you know, get things done. OCD it and like, <laughs> make sure it works. Yeah. No, but we're really looking forward to that. June 25th and 26th, Wolverine Days, open house and range event. We're super excited to be able to have that event again. Um, for anyone who's not familiar, it was an annual event that we'd been doing since like 2013. You know what? Still call it an annual event just it because is. the last two years just, existed and everyone's yeah, going to forget about we it. We had hopefully. to take a little break there, uh, but we will be back and we're super excited. So we've got manufacturer yeah. reps coming in from all over. Um, get up on the range. You can try out a variety of different firearms. Our friends from Hilux are coming. Yeah, our friends from Hilux are coming. Um, I think Barrett Daniel Defense. A bunch of people whole bunch of people. Um, there will be more in information up on the website very soon. Um, in conjunction with that, we'll also be running the annual patch promo that we do. So where you can buy a patch, get entered into a draw for some really awesome prizes, and then you will, all the proceeds will be going to a couple charities. So yeah. more details on that as well. Boom. But yeah, coming up, 51 days. 51 days. TikTok. Yeah. TikTok. Okay. Well, that's everything uh, we have. So we hope you guys are having a really good weekend and we'll see you next week. Don't forget about us.